Olá, meu nome é Fábio, esse é o canal do lado de cá e hoje a gente está começando o primeiro vídeo do quadro novo que é o Papo de Gringo, onde eu trago um dos meus amigos, que é americano, para conversar sobre imigração, cultura e tudo que vier na cabeça. Esse vídeo vai ser em inglês, então não se preocupe que eu vou colocar a legenda aqui embaixo para vocês, para vocês poderem entender tudo que a gente está falando. E se você não entendeu alguma coisa, coloca no comentário, eu vou fazer o possível para tentar te ajudar, right? Sure. All right, so this is a warm-up game that we're gonna do. I'm gonna read a couple of sentences and you're gonna tell me if you think it's true or false. Okay. Okay? One of Brazil's biggest pop star at the moment is a drag queen named Pablo. Yes. True. <laughs> true or false? Well, true, sorry. True. true. <laughs> All right. The language... Okay, yeah, it's true, actually. Is it true? Yeah, yeah I was it? guessing. I have <laughs> no, no idea. it's true. The official language of Brazil is Spanish. False. In Brazil, a naked man laying on the floor for other people to come and touch him and change his body in whatever shape they would like to, including children, is considered art. I'm gonna go with false. <laughs> It's actually true. Is it? It just happened. A man in Brazil can have multiple wives. False. Yeah, it's false. Brazil is the fifth world's largest country. Fifth, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna say true. Yeah, it's true. Anyway, so the drinking age in Brazil is 18 years old. False. It's true. The Amazon River is the world's largest river. No. Well, actually it's true. You need to be 18 to drive in Brazil. True? Yeah, I had to think okay. a little bit. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay. In Brazil, employees get to enjoy 30 days, 30 straight days of vacation. It's actually true. I wanted to say true. <laughs> I should have can you, can, can, you imagine, can you imagine living in a country where you can actually take 30 days off work? No, I can't imagine that. Yeah. Okay, am I the only Brazilian person you know? That I know of, yes. It's not often I ask someone where they're from. So you're the only one that I can definitely say is from Brazil. Why, is it my Brazilian looks? No, I just, it came up in conversation. Mm. But it's, I wouldn't say it's, it's customary to ask someone where they're from. So here you guys don't actually ask where they're from? Like, hey, where are you from? Are you from I mean, Brazil or from Mexico? If if I hear uh, an accent that I can't place and I'm genuinely curious about, I'll ask. Let me ask a question. It's not even here actually, but it's an interesting question because a lot of American people that I know, they say that they actually like accents. Oh, I love accents. You see, and I have Brazilian friends who are girls, mm -hmm. not Brazilian girlfriends, I'm not that kind of, I'm not that fly yet. <laughs> I have Brazilian friends who are girls and mm -hmm. they, sometimes they're embarrassed of, of trying to speak English because they're embarrassed of their accent. Oh, girls don't be, it's adorable. We, we love it. <laughs> I, I, and I tell everyone, yes, they do, yeah, they no, do like it. We love it. On the scale from one to 10, how much do you know Brazil? I'd say probably a one. A I, one. Don't, I don't know much about Brazil, I'm sorry guys. Tell me three words that come to mind when I say let's talk about Brazil. Dancing. Mm -hmm. Um, dancing? plantains, plantains, the banana thing. Yeah, I don't know why, banana. but that's, <laughs> okay. that's what pops into my head. Okay, dancing bananas. <laughs> and, and Portuguese. And Those are the Portuguese. three things that okay. pop into my head. How big do you think Brazil is? Is it bigger than the U.S.? Smaller, than the, smaller US? than the U.S.? Now, how much smaller? Is it half of the size? Uh, I'm going to say no, but it's got to be close. It's seven eighths. Really? It's like we're like missing about 20,000 square miles. I had no idea. How do you imagine Brazil to be like? How, like, if Describe Brazil in your imaginary world. In my imaginary world, it's very hot. It's very colorful. Okay. Um, and I, I, I picture a, a lot of people on either uh, bicycles or... Um, I don't want to say mopeds, but like... Yeah, they have mopeds there. Not like, as not as much like anymore. Mopeds like Vespas even... kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Like a Vespa or like one of those like bicycles that have been converted to Oh, the electric bikes. Yeah. What is the capital of Brazil? I want to say Peru, but I feel like I'm wrong. You want to give it another I'm, I'm, time? I'm going to You're going to go with Peru? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Peru is another country. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I guess I I'm sorry guys, I don't know <laughs> yeah, much about Brazil. Yeah, he doesn't know anything about Brazil. <laughs> If you had to go on an impromptu trip to Brazil, 
what would be your first aside from passport and documents and all that what would be what would be your first concern sunblock sunblock at least it's not violence everyone thinks that you know brazil has like a bad image in the, in the united states and all that so from from what i understand it's not violence but pickpocketing yeah is from what i've heard from the yeah. um the olympic games that were down there pickpocketing was a big issue um, in brazil we eat um rice bean steak lettuce salad like in every lunch and dinner as i say breakfast okay what is a, a, a typical american meal here because everyone asks me that and i don't know how to answer there is there is no typical meal uh, that's there, what there i really can isn't. answer that um it's it, it really depends on who you're eating with mm -hmm. um i happen to eat a lot of chicken and a lot of rice oh you do uh, eat rice i eat a lot I of rice. rice i buy 50 pound bags of rice but I, i'd say we eat a lot of meat unfortunately probably a lot of fast food uh, who's better at soccer brazil or u.s brazil Okay, of course, the U.S. has been getting their butt kicked. You've been following? No, but I've got friends that are that they follow it like religiously, and they never shut up about it. Oh yeah. And I've, apparently, our I think our coach just like retired or something, or something <laughs> happened. With you the know coach. more about soccer than I do. Yeah, like I said, I got friends that just don't shut up about soccer. I guess I don't have friends. Brazilian people mm -hmm. believe Americans to be cold and standoffish. Do you agree with that statement? All Americans are not the same. America is huge. Each state is basically like a separate country. So I'd, I'd say the more city-like the person is, the more standoffish they are. Okay. The more rural the area, the less standoffish. Do you get annoyed when someone, well, we kind of covered this, but do you get annoyed when someone who has bad English, bad English, bad English, they try to speak and you can't understand and you know or they can't understand and you get have to repeat yourself or they have to repeat themselves all the time like does it become an annoyance to you because i have friends that they actually um they're afraid of speaking english because they're afraid of making mistakes and having to repeat themselves or annoying the american person because they think that they're going to get annoyed that their english is not as good so me personally no do americans um, do you know a lot of americans uh, i would say americans in general can um but again, it, it, it comes back to that whole where you're from thing. I don't think we care as much. Um, no, right? We're, we're, we're pretty friendly here. It's we're, we're fairly friendly. I'm, I find I'm an incredibly patient person. I will spend 20 minutes working with you to find out what it is you're saying. But, but not that everyone's like that. Well, let's talk about immigration. Okay. It's a hard topic, right? It is a hard topic. Um, how yeah. do you feel about immigrants? I um, about hard topic. I, I love immigrants. I mean... You're an immigrant. You're one of my best friends. He just he just confessed his love for me. Uh, yeah, a little bit. He just said, bit. "I love immigrants. You're an immigrant." Kind of, you know. If you got that, <laughs> I have that on camera. Do you think they're good or bad for the country? I think I think they're good for the country. Okay. I have heard countless times from Brazilian people that this country needs immigrants because if the government were to get rid of all the immigrants. American people would not be willing to do the jobs that they do, which is like mowing lawn, um, carpentry, construction. Oh, absolutely not. So, so you you see, you think that if there was a demand for those jobs, American people would fulfill the jobs easily? Yes, but right? it, it all comes down to pay. Because I, as a as a child when I was younger, I I did landscaping when I was younger, I did contracting when I was younger, but it just didn't make enough money, so I had to find a job that paid more. Do you feel threatened by the growing number of immigrants in this country? Because uh, uh, are you afraid that they're going to take away your job or they're going to take away space in your school or in your community? Absolutely not. Or steal your girlfriend? No. No? I'm, I'm, I do not fear immigrants in any way whatsoever. Oh, good. That's a good thing. Would you ever date a Brazilian girl? Uh, yeah. What if you knew that she is an illegal immigrant? Because you know illegal immigration is against the law. Illegal so. immigration is against the law. But um, I I don't know. That that's a difficult question. Um, 
I, I myself am not a huge fan of illegal immigration. I get that it's very difficult to get into this country. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have to go through a ridiculous test that most Americans couldn't pass. That's true. <laughs> Is should, that one of your questions? We should, we should, do, we should do a video of um, the civics questions that I had to go for my immigration I'll, to see I'll if do you that. fail it. I'll do that. I'm sure I'll fail it. I'm sure I will. Some of the, the, the tests to get into this country are absolutely ridiculous. So I, I get why there's so much illegal immigration. Um, I don't, it's, I, I don't think I would care that much. Oh, okay. Well, you, you usually, you really don't choose who you fall in love with. Exactly. That's what it all comes down you to. Know, so if, at what point do I find out <laughs> if it's day one, is it oh, like, I'm a legal immigrant. Is uh, it like, hey, nice to meet you. Can I see your passport, yeah, please? No, that, that <laughs> You're like a nice agent. <laughs> that would be highly offensive. <laughs> right? Uh-oh. I did ask some people to send me questions. And they did send me one question. You got one question? That one dedicated <laughs> follower, you... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I sent on WhatsApp for, to my friends. Ah, okay, okay. And the question was, will he marry me? Will I marry you? <laughs> no, me, her. Who's her? The girl that asked the question. Uh, I'd have to <laughs> get to know her. Sorry. So it's a, it's a maybe. It, it's a maybe. We'll, we'll go with maybe. Tell you what, you come visit and we'll see if there's chemistry. <laughs> we are on the home stretch okay. here. Last uh, five questions. You're going to complete the sentence. So I'll start okay. and I'll say blank. And then you put the, you, the word in, in the blank. You okay. got it, right? First word that comes to mind? Yes. Or? Okay. In Ooh, Brazil, we have a lot of... Women. Blank. Oh, I forgot to say blank. <laughs> <laughs> in Brazil, I can get blank in any corner. Burritos? Burritos? <laughs> Brazilian food is blank. Delicious. Brazilian women are blank. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Brazilian people are really good at blank. Soccer. soccer. <laughs> it's kind of, it kind of went back to the first thing that I, I thought. It's like always women, soccer, and samba. Samba, yep. Yeah. That's yeah. That, that, the dance I was talking about earlier. <laughs> That's, you couldn't remember yep. the name, right? I couldn't remember what style. I couldn't remember if it was, it was tango. It, it was some kind of fast. That's from Argentina. It's highly is offensive, it? yes. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we in Argentinian people, we don't get along Whoa. because of soccer. Really? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I got to finish it in Portuguese. <laughs> Muito obrigado por assistir. Esse foi mais um vídeo do Papo de Gringo. Não, é o Papo de Imigrante dessa vez. Até o próximo vídeo. Não se esqueça, curta, comente, compartilhe, se inscreva no canal, deixe suas, seus comentários aqui embaixo, tá? Obrigado. Tchau. Sempre tchau. Tchau. Home stretch or home, home, stretch. home run stretch? It's the home stretch. Why? No idea. <laughs> okay. We're, it's just the phrase. <laughs> they have cow. I was gonna say cow plantations. They have cows. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to in my lap. <laughs> no, I'm not in your lap. <laughs> Why do I have the warm up twice? I don't know. Please hold for Yep, we actually got to. Uh, we met in college first. Good and uh, <laughs> the class over here. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Mike, I don't think she'll mind if I call my daughter. <laughs> like, no, I don't think she will. No. She's five, six. <laughs>